So today I'm going to change it up and just go back to target training or touch training. Um, just to go back to basics, go over the basics again, keep her excited about the training. Good job. Now keep in mind this is touch training. So the object of the game is for her to simply touch the end of the stick, not fight, not attack, not grab onto it and chew. I just want her to touch it, release, and be excited about that clicker so that she can turn and get the treat and not just want to destroy the stick. Good girl. And I'm not making her go very far because obviously she's got a bum foot, guys. <laughs> so I really don't need her walking on it more than necessary. Good job. Easy peasy, session over. What's wrong with her foot? So, I could probably try to show you guys. Um, her foot's basically, it's a foot defect. So she was just hatched with a deformity in her left foot. And her siblings were way worse off. She had a sibling that only lived, I think, two years based on all of its deformities. Um, some really bad stuff. So she actually doesn't have it as bad as some of the other birds that were bred um, where she was. Let me see if I can set her down and you guys can kind of see what this deformity is about. She's a little bit uneasy, so I don't know if she'll go down, but I'll get my target stick. She loves targeting. <laughs> All right, so you guys can kind of see. Let me set her where you guys can see. Hold on, girl, you're way ahead of them. Okay. So I'm gonna have her walk towards the camera. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's basically wa walking on like the ankle of her foot. So it literally goes out to the side. So I don't know how well you guys can see it there. Pieces they tend to make. So it really depends. Are you coming? <laughs> yeah, you can. Come on. It's okay. Good girl. So I don't know how many of you guys could see, but she actually lifts um, her other foot. She doesn't put it down till her other leg. So I'm gonna get her a treat real quick. Oh man. Okay, I think she wants to fly, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna let her fly. Maybe you guys will get to see it. Oh yeah, I moved, she was about to go. Okay, let's just do a live session. Cool. All right, if you wanna fly, we're gonna do long distance. You want to? So you guys are just gonna see a live training session if that's cool, because that's what she wants to do. <laughs> Morgan, good girl. Good job. Okay, Morgan. Good girl. Yeah. Morgan.
So she's facing that way, but she has to fly this way. So she has to go out and over. Woo, good girl! All right, guys, well, I wasn't planning on doing a full session with her, but at least you got to see what a session looks like. Um, I'm keeping them shorter recently just because it keeps it more positive and interesting for her. And uh, based on whether or not she's hesitant, it makes her less likely to be hesitant in the future. So it's cool to keep them short, keep her excited and all that stuff. So that's how she's doing. I'm really excited to try to do more stuff with Patty this weekend and see where that goes. So she's really come really, really far. For those of you that haven't followed her journey at all, she started off not flying at all. And then when she was flying, she was literally flying onto my back and not coming off and it was just awful. And then she would only fly when my back was turned, which was really inconvenient. Um, Bren, question about the session. Is it a good idea to train when a bird asks? It's all my Amazon seems to want to do these days. Um, Bren, so I've had a few sessions with Morgan where she's been really hesitant and that's because I started incorporating Patty and um, no offense against Patty, but just the relationship was a little rough and so it really made my sessions lag and I was missing that initial enthusiasm and um, just overall fun that Morgan was having with our sessions that you guys just saw. So based on where I'm at with Morgan, yes, I will allow her to tell me when she wants a session because it's in her best interest and mine to keep the sessions really positive and happy and I need her to tell me. And today I was just going to cut it back and only do targeting with her. Um, but because she did want to fly, I was like, okay, but I still kept it short. And that's why I put her away to make sure that we like ended on that really good session. So it's hard to say if it's in the best interest for you and your bird, because I don't know your, your exact situation. But for my situation with Morgan, I'm looking for that enthusiasm and, and I'm looking for those training sessions to be extremely positive and fun and something that she wants to do and looks forward to doing. So. Does that even answer your question? Sometimes I don't even know. But um, thank you guys for tuning in. Please follow Morgan's progress. Tell me what you think. I'm really excited to share her journey with everybody and inspire more people to work with older birds and realize that you don't need a baby. You don't need to be hand feeding your bird to bond with it or to train it, especially to flight train. Like if you've heard that, it's all BS. <laughs> don't believe a thing. I just recently did a blog post on older birds, previously clipped birds, and plucked birds that all learn to free fly. So it is completely possible. Please don't give up on your older, plucked, previously clipped, whatever the situation is, don't give up on your bird. You don't need a baby to have an amazing, amazing relationship with your bird. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's my message. That's my soapbox talk for today. But a lot of love to you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!